Why, guys? Why do you hate me? I fix the pitching, the bats go cold. I bring in Vlad, suddenly we can't throw a baseball anymore, unless the bats are left at home, in which case you're brilliant. I can't take this anymore, guys. You're killing me. My blood pressure's off the roof. Are you good or are you crap? Just make your minds up. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain and welcome back to the Detroit Tigers. It is Season 8, Episode 7. Today we host the Chicago White Sox and, well, as you can see from the standings, uh, it's pretty much already game over uh, in terms of us winning the division. We are more or less playing for a place in the wild card again and even that is looking a little bit dodgy. I just, I say it every episode, it feels like. I hate this team so much. It doesn't seem to matter what I do somebody is stuffing things up for me so uh well we've made one change to the road to, uh, to the team so we'll uh, you can see there deshaun coakley has come in uh we've dropped taj bradley back to the bullpen and brisky has dropped out altogether uh, but let's have a look and see how we've got not too many games to catch you up on we did of course leave off with this game here against the jays and we ended up getting swept in that series Kansas City came to town we only won one of three against them but you can see like we'd lose a game three to twelve you know and then we'd lose one nil and then we win a game here 13-2. Like, make your minds up, guys. Are you good? Are you crap? I just need to know. Yeah, I mean, this is arguably a game where everybody showed up, but uh, it's just so annoying. And anyway, so we swept the Twins. I'm, I'm ranting. I mean, this is because I've just played through these games, and I'm just... Uh, blood pressure. Blood, blah, 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 blah. Blood pressure is uh, is up. So yeah, we've been lost. The, we've lost the first two games of this series to the White Sox. That more or less ends our interest, I would imagine, as, uh, as divisional uh, champions. If we have a proper look at the standings here, uh, and it's just... I mean, they, the White Sox are a good side. They're the second best team, arguably not quite in baseball, but certainly in the uh, in the American League. And we are still in the conversation for the wild card game. Uh, you know, but it is, if we go down here so we can see a little bit better, it is a, still a very close race. Uh, the Jays are arguably out of it, but, you know, they swept us. So it's just all a little bit frustrating right now. If we have a strong end to the year, we could... We could well, you know, go on and uh, and be a good team in the in the wild card race, but I mean, who would we be playing if we finish uh, bottom of uh, of the wild card? We would then go and play the Rays uh, or arguably maybe the Mets, but uh, the Mets, the Yankees, but you know that that does kind of look as though the uh, the Rays have got that wrapped up. So yeah, it is. It is what it is, I suppose, but it's very, very disappointing. Some of the divisional leaders here, or the, the, the league leaders, I should say, Abrams still hasn't played. <laughs> it's still leading stolen bases ahead of Xavier Edwards. We've got uh, Vlad Jr. up there and on base percentage. So most of that's been done with, uh, with the uh, Blue Jays. And, well, that's it. No other pitchers there. It's just all... It's all going the wrong way. I don't know what to do, honestly. I, I, I'm beginning to get to the point where it's like it must be the coaching staff because... I feel like attribute-wise, our players are way better than they're performing. But let's have a look and see how they are performing. Now, Deshaun Coakley has had two starts in, in Major Leagues, not got off to a great start, but we'll keep faith with him. He's, he's potentially very, very, very good, so we'll see how that goes. He does have an ish, uh, maybe not the greatest personality, so I'm thinking we might even try and trade him, see if we can get somebody just as good, but with a better personality. We'll have to wait and see, though. The way he's got off uh, the, to the start there... He might be not uh, quite the tradable good that he was before he played Major League Baseball. But everybody else there is doing okay in terms of numbers. Uh, Gerton is back on form. Walling is not, uh, unfortunately. And yeah, it's just a, it's just been a frustrating year. And uh, if we go and have a look at the hitters. And, you know, it's not really any less frustrating, to be honest. There's not much to say. Uh, you know, the guys that do well are doing well. And, uh, you know, the guys that have been struggling all year are still kind of struggling. But... Yeah, I don't really know what to say. I just feel like that we have enough good bats that there should be more guys batting over 300. I think what I might do is is just do a complete overhaul of the of the coaching staff this uh, this off season and just see if if that can help us at all. But anyway, that's how things stand. We've got a big game coming up here. Let's check these lineups. On your feet, Tigers fans, as tonight's starting lineup takes to the field. At first base, it's Vladimir Jr. At second base, it's Xavier Edwards. At third base, it's Arul Vera. The shortstop is Jose Lopez. In left field, it's Mizell Urbina. The center fielder is Kyoto Takazawa. 
In right field, it's David Valdovinos. The center hitter is Tony Smash. Behind the plate tonight, it's Blake Hunt. And tonight's starting pitcher is Yordani Kamona. And honestly, this just pisses me off more. Look at that. We win more or less every matchup. So it is uh, Xavier Edwards leading us off at second base. Vera plays third, bat second. Uh, Bean up back fit. He bats uh, third in left field. Vlad Jr. is a uh, cleanup man at first base. Vega is a designated hitter at five. Valen Devos is uh, in right field, bat six. Takazawa is in center field for this one. Childers needs a rest, so uh, he's bat seven. Blake Hunt is the catcher at eight. Lopez is the shortstop at nine. Kamuna is the man on the mound, our all-star for this year. And uh, we are up against uh, Mizel Soto, who has a 13-4 and record, an ERA of 376, and a whip of 129. Now, you look at that record, and also uh, some, of these, uh, some of these batting uh, ratings here, it suggests that they are very much a pitching side, which means Kamuna just needs to be solid, and uh, our bats need to wake up, for the love of God, wake up. But here we are, back in Detroit. It'll be uh, Virgin to lead them off. He is batting 257. It's a 1 2 pitch. And uh, well, we'll see how we go here. I'm thinking I might have a new strategy on coaches. It's, and maybe this is what I should have been doing the whole time, and everybody knows this but me, which is uh, very possible. But I think what I'm, I've been trying to get uh, coaches that are good sort of pitching coaches as the pitching coach. Uh, what I think I'm going to do, and I've always made sure that the relationship isn't too bad. I think what I'm going to start and do is the guys that are really good coaches is leave them in the minors. And then the guy that's going to be our major league coach, I think I'm just going to just purely go for relationship. I don't care if he doesn't even know what a baseball is. If he gets on with the players and will motivate them, then I think that might be the way I just go for the way I go for, for coaches now, because I just, I've tried the other thing and it's just not working. It's just not working. Uh, Xavier Edwards will lead us off. Now he has since last episode got his 600th hit for Detroit and uh, his 100th career double as well. Let's see what he can do. He's got a ground ball to first base and that will be one away in the bottom of the first. In will come Errol Vera batting 274, a 3-1. And Vera gets himself on base, bringing up Obina. Meisel have been up batting 293 this season. End on a hot streak. There goes Vera, and Vera gets there. So we have a man at second. Can Urbina drive him in now? Urbina to third base. Runner will stay at second. He'll be out at first. And it'll bring Vlad Jr. up batting 318. Two out, one on second. It's a 2 1 pitch. Come on, Vladdy boy. Vlad Jr. has absolutely crushed it, and it is 2 0. That is what Vlad does. And it's his 27th of the season, 393 feet. And he's given us a 2-0 lead. Excellent, excellent stuff. And it'll bring in Tony Vega now, batting 266 in a hot streak as well, a 1-2 pitch. And Tony Vega gets it through the right side of the infield. A little bit of a two-out rally going on here. And let's see what we can do now as Valen Divos comes in, batting 215 this season. And Valen Divos has popped it up. And that will end the inning. But not before Vlad makes his mark on the game. It is 2-0. We'll go to the top of the second. Kamuna will face Miranda, who is batting 248 this year. A 2-2 pitch. And that is into center field. Takazawa is going back and makes a running catch. Nicely done. And that is one away. It'll bring in Austin Slater now, batting 178 this season. It's a 2-2 pitch. And Carmona sits him down. Bringing in MJ Melendez, the catcher, batting 258. It's a 3-1 pitch. And it's a ground ball over to third. Vera to uh, Vlad Jr. And that'll do it for the top of the second. So far, so good for Carmona. In comes Takazawa, batting 231. Oh, always hit him. Unnecessary. And in will come Blake Hunt now, batting 225 this season. A full count. Blake Hunt sends it into right field. Takazawa will go back. And it'll be one away. It will bring in uh, the shortstop, Lopez now, batting 217. It's an 0-1 pitch. There goes Takazawa. He's not a good base stealer. And that'll be two away. And Jose Lopez will no doubt strike out now. And <laughs> second. It's like I've seen this team before, isn't it? All right, Carmona to Cordero, who is batting 233. It's a 1-2 pitch. 
And that is into right field for the first hit of the game for the White Sox. It's a leadoff single in the top of the third. It brings Jake Vogel in, who's batting 275. It's a 2-1 pitch. And that is just being sat up there to whack into a left center field. And it might score the run, you know. Urbina has it. No runner will stay at third. But with no one out, runners at second and third. A little bit of trouble here as Ortiz comes in now, batting 281. It's a 1-2 pitch. And it is a strikeout for a big, big first out of the inning. It is Virgin coming back in. 0 for 1 today. It's an 0-2 pitch. Can we sit him down as well? Yes, we can. Two away. And can Carmona dig himself out of this one? It's Jose Rodriguez now who's 0 for 1. It's a 2-1 pitch. Oh, dear. No, oh, it's staying in. Urbina is there. It looked like it might be gone. But just a little bit too much elevation, wasn't it? Kept it inside. And it is... Edwards back up he's 0 for 1 today it's a 1-2 pitch he strikes out that is one away bringing Vera in who walked last time up another 3-1 pitch and this time Vera walks again sounds like the sequel to his uh, autobiography doesn't it it is Urbina in now he's 0 for 1 today Urbina sends it to center field but that is staying in will Vera try and get himself to second no he will not and it'll bring Vlad Jr. in. We know he's one for one today. It's a 3-1 pitch. Are they scared of him? Yes, they are. They walk in, bringing up Vera, uh, Vega. Sorry. Now, Vega got his 500th career hit uh, earlier on this, uh, before in between the two episodes. And he's absolutely ripped that down into left field against an outfield shift. And it's going to score two as Vega with a two RBI double. Doubles the lead. It is now four to nothing. And it brings Valendivos in, who is 0 for 1 today. It's an 0 1 pitch, and Valendivos will pop that up to end the inning. But that is uh, 4 0 now as we go into the fourth. And it is Tim Anderson up to bat for them, 0 for 1 today. It's an 0 1 pitch, and that is hit into left field. Obina will get it on the bounce, and it will be a leadoff single for the second inning in a row. Miranda comes in now 0 for 1. It's an 0 2 pitch. There goes the runner, and we cannot get him at second. So it'll be a 1 2 pitch now. There's a strikeout for the first out. And in will come Austin Slater, who is 0 for 1. A 1 1 pitch. Slater gets it through, and is that going to score the run? You'd imagine it will. And the throw is not in time. It is an RBI double, though it might be scored an RBI single. It is 4-1, one away, runner at second for Melendez, who is 0 for 1. It's a 3-1, and that is to the third baseman, and it is not in time. One away, runners at the corners now for Cadero, who's 1 for 1. It's a first pitch swing. It is popped up into right field. Who's in right field today? I can't even remember, but uh, they do a good job. Oh, it's Fallon Divos. Makes the catch, keeps the runner at third as well. Two away for Vogel, who is one for one. A 2-2 two -two pitch that is hit into left field, and Urbina is there. So just the one run that could have been a lot worse. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth. Takazawa will lead us off. He, of course, got hit first time around. First pitch this time. Makes up for that by slapping it into left, uh, right center field, sorry, and he slides into second for a leadoff double. Though, in truth, he probably could have just stood up if he wanted to. Always looks better sliding in, though, doesn't it? Hunt, who is 0 for 1 now. He strikes out at a 1-2 pitch. So that is 1 away. Takazawa at second for Lopez, who's 0 for 1. An 0-2 pitch. Lopez. Oh, it's not quite in the right spot out there. And it is caught for 2 away. Edwards is up. He is 0 for 2. It's an 0-2 pitch. Xavier Edwards is not having a good day at the plate. And that'll end the 4th. 4-1 we lead, Ortiz to lead them off, he's 0-1, for 1. he's going to face a 2-2 pitch from Carmona, and he's going to swing straight through it, 4-1 away, Virgin will come back in now, he's 0-2, for 2. it's a 2-0 pitch, and he's popped that up, Urbina's coming in, he'll make the catch, and that'll be 2 away, in comes Rodriguez, who is 0-2 for 2 now, it's a first pitch swing, Rodriguez grounds it to the first baseman. Vlad has it over to the covering Carmona. And that'll do it for the top of the fifth. It is Vera to lead us off. He has walked twice so far. This is an 0-2 pitch. And Vera grounds it to the shortstop. And that'll be one away. In now will come 
Urbina, who is 0 for 2. It's a 3-1 pitch. Urbina draws the one-out walk, bringing Vlad up to the plate. He is uh, one for one, a home run and a walk so far today, and he adds a double play to his collection. I think that's uh, a mixed bag, isn't it? <laughs> As uh, that ends the fifth. We go to the top of the fifth. Carmona to face Anderson, who is one for two. It's a one-two pitch. And Anderson pops it up into center field. Oh, Takazawa. That is a brutal catch. I could have caught that one. And, well, with the error, we have a runner at first. No one out. Miranda at the plate. An 0-1 pitch. That is a ground ball. We get the man at first. The runner goes to second, though. And, uh, well, we have uh, Slater at the plate now, one away. He's one for two today. One for three now as he watches strike three. And uh, it's Melendez who is one for two to face the new man, Cesar the, the, uh, the Jesus. And uh, that means Carmona. Well, he's not quite done yet. Oh, it's a loose one. He's gone 5.2 inning. The run's not going to count against him anyways because it was an error. So he's gone 5.2 inning, one earned run. A 1-2 pitch. Can we end the inning here? It's a ground ball. It should be easy at first. And that does indeed. Now, I think the book was already closed on him anyway because it was an error, wasn't it? But anyway, decent start from Carmona. They have Orge Alcala. Rocky's legend, of course. He's going to face Tony Vega, who is 2-for-2 two two so far today. It's a 1-2 pitch. And it's a strikeout for big Tony Smash. Valen Divos now, who's 0 for 2. It's a full count. Valen Divos pops it up into right field again. And that'll be 2 away. In will come Takazawa. He owes us for the error. He's 1 for 1. He was hit as well, of course. I'd like to hit him as well after that drop catch, to be fair. And uh, that is going to be caught in right field, is it? Yes, it is. So we go to the 7th. 4-1. We are up over the White Sox. Uh, this is an important game, not necessarily to catch the White Sox. I think that horse has bolted, but very much uh, to make sure we are going to at least end up with a wild card berth this season. There's a nice strikeout for De Jesus. Jake Vogel will come in now. He's going to have a first pitch swing. And that is a ground ball back to the pitcher and out at first for two away. I think uh, De Jesus had recently he's come up with uh, his 250th career strikeout, which isn't a great milestone for a pitcher, but... When I was checking his stats, that's noteworthy for a bullpen pitcher. But anyway, we stretch. 4-1, we are up. So welcome back. Blake Hunt is uh, at the plate. I just noticed this. We are on fire in the middle order there. Wonderful to see. And uh, a 2-1 pitch on Blake Hunt. And Blake Hunt has absolutely traceabled that ball out over the left field fence. It is 395 feet. It is 4-1. And, well, Blake Hunt got a good stretch in, didn't he? Absolutely belted the cover off that ball. Wonderful to see. And it'll bring in Lopez now, who's 0 for 2. Uh, this is going to be a potentially final call for MVP nominations, depending how our playoff bid goes. Uh, next episode could be the end of a very disappointing season for us, uh, as Lopez gets himself a single. So, yeah, let me know in the comments or Discord or wherever else you want to do it. It's up the middle. We might get there. You know, we do. So an infield hit for uh, Xavier Edwards. Whoever you think is, uh, was worthy of being our MVP this year, you can nominate more than one player, and uh, we'll make sure we're voting on that uh, as soon as we need to, as Vera smacks one into left center field. It scores Lopez. Edwards stops at third, but it is now 6-1. No one out. Runners at second and third. And it is Urbina at the plate to face Robinson Ortiz, who has an ERA of 3.02 this season. Urbina, it's a 1-2 pitch. Urbina, oh, has a half swing and goes and takes a seat. In will come Vlad Jr. now. He is one for two today. A 2-1 pitch and Vlad Jr. rips it down the left field line. And that will be a two RBI double. Brings his personal tally to four RBIs for the day. He'll stand at second. It is now eight to one. And Molino will come in to pinch hit for Vega. Now, I don't think Vega's injured, is he? Molino has uh, had a bit of a disappointing year. He's still, he's only 24, it's still early days for him, but I was expecting a little bit more. He pops that up into deep center field, gets Vlad over to third, and it'll bring Valen Divos in now, who is 0 for 3, but a chance to drive in a run. It's a full count, and he walks. So we have runners at the corners now with Takazawa at the plate. 
one for two today. Takazawa strikes out. That'll do it for the seventh, but it was a match-winning seventh, or it better have been. Of course, we scored four, doubled the lead to 8-1, and Virgin will now face the Jesus, who is 0 for 3. A 1-1 pitch, and that is indeed popped up and will be caught in center field, hopefully, this time by Takazawa. I feel like this performance, it just shows that we do have the lineup, I think, to go to beat anybody, you know, if we play well. The issue very much is it's just consistency. It's, yeah, the, the pitchers on their day are good, you know, overall through the season, their numbers look, look good to decent. And for whatever reason, we just... We just seem to just lose. We, well, it goes without saying we lose too many games. Obviously, if you lose too many games, you don't make the playoffs. That's how it works. But you know what I mean? Like we seem to just lose games that we should win, really. Like, you know, if, if everybody's playing up to their, not their maximum ability, but just sort of their average kind of thing. But anyway, I think we might just be a little bit streaky, perhaps. And that's, uh, that's what's letting us down right now. But anyway, we've got Lopez at the plate. He gets a second hit of the game. Straight back up the middle. So a one-out single for the shortstop. Brings up Xavier Edwards again, the switch hitting Xavier Edwards. He is one for four today, and that might be a double play. No, it'll just be one. So runner goes to second. Vera's at the plate. He is one for two today. It's an 0-1 pitch, and Arrol Vera gets it into center field. It's going to drop in. It should score the run, and Vera has himself an RBI single. It's 9-1 as Lopez comes across the score. An 81st RBI for Vera this season. Could he get to 100? And Troy Child is now will come into pinch hit, which is kind of annoying because he needs a rest. I really didn't want him playing this one. I know there's a, a box you can tick, but anyway, that'll end the inning. We'll go to the top of the ninth. It's 9-1. If we don't win this, I think we just resign on the spot, to be honest. Uh, De Jesus will continue. He's going to face Slater, who's one for three. And there's a ground ball to the shortstop for one away. Uh, we've got Troy Childers in left field now. And who else came into pinch hit? Oh, it was a designated hitter, wasn't it? Uh, brings MJ Melendez. He is one for three today. An 0-1 pitch. That's a ground ball to the shortstop for two away. The White Sox down to their final out. It's been a long, long time since we won a game on YouTube. And, well, we've absolutely belted them into the uh, submission in that one. But, unfortunately, it's too little too late this season, I fear. So there we go. We have uh, cut the lead to ten games at the top. Yeah, it's, it's just a shame, isn't it? It's too late. I, I really do think that. It's August 20th in-game. We've got about a month of the season left. It, and look at that recent form for them as well. I mean, in a way, we've done quite well to do that to them. But I think this is our battle down here now in the wild card game. Hopefully my head's not in the way. And yeah, if we can, if as long as we're getting in there, then you never, like I say, you never know because I genuinely think we do have a good team. Uh, other news I forgot to catch you up on is that Sasaki is back. He's doing a rehab assignment in AAA and then we'll see. I'm thinking if Deshaun doesn't quite work out his next start, I might drop him back and, and bring Sasaki in. But anyway, we'll wait and see how everybody does. That is it for today. Don't forget to go and leave your nominations for MVP. I suspect we'll come back uh, towards the end of the season, either when we have a chance to clinch a playoff spot or if it comes all the way down to the final day, uh, then that's when we'll come back. Hopefully it's sooner rather than later. I'd like to have a nice stress-free end of the season, but we don't do that, do we? So yeah, till next time, I've been Ozzy Bell. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.